Today we are working on a shabby chic fall wood tag, a design team project for ReneeBouquets.com. But first, welcome to my channel. My name is Linda. If this is your first time here and you don't want to miss out on any further DIY craft videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell for future updates from my channel, Fachik 777s DIY by Design. Now let's get started. So what I have here, this is just a fall wood decor piece I purchased from Walmart this year. I love the shape and the size of it. I'm just removing the ribbon and the wire tag. I don't need that. And I'm using this heavy black gesso with a pouncy brush to go along the perimeter of the front and back as well as the outside edge of this tag. And by pouncing it on and then heat setting it, which I do off camera, it provides a nice tiny micro dot texture versus just painting it flat with a regular paint brush. I like to add that texture. So that's what I've got here. And then I'm going to take the sanding block and there's some recessed areas around the perimeter of this tag and I'm just sanding that back off to kind of give this tag a rustic look. So this is paper from my stash. It's an old collection um, and I don't remember what it is. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm taking some scissors and running along the edge of all the papers and the ephemera that I'm using to give it a uh, ripped edge as you can see there and then of course as you can also see I have sewed around the perimeter of all my pieces here off camera I don't like to bore you with that so we'll finish distressing the edges this just adds a nice texture when you're layering and working with paper craft products so what we'll do is start uh, with this Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. You can purchase this at any craft store. I'm just making sure most glues, this Beacon Fabri-Tac, when you open it, there's either a seal on the inside or you have to poke the middle of the cap if you find your glue doesn't readily come out when you take the lid off, okay? Um, and so then we'll just start. Uh, and I, add, I said that because I've had someone ask me, like, how do you use this glue? Because <laughs> it won't come out. So that's how it comes out. So we're going to start by adding our papers here to the project and I'm using colors of beige and grays and aquas and a little splash of apricot for the fall uh, portion of this project. This is a Rene K beautiful board laser cut chipboard stackable heart ATC tags. I'm zooming in here because I want you to see how thick Rene K beautiful board is. Okay it's good good quality. It's not like most other uh, manufacturers uh, chipboard products okay it's really good product and you see the heart at the top of that tag these uh, stackable heart what I call them ATC tags you come in a set of two and then they also come with two tiny hearts that you can stack on top of the heart at the top of that tag and then I used a metal frame for my stash and then I'm just adding in more paper and I'm using cardboard to help level all my pieces because that beautiful board is so thick that I have to level my paper um, against that tag. And these here are beautiful board laser cut chipboard ivy vine tuck-ins. So I'm using a piece of that and then another piece of cardboard to allow that paper to sit level against that beautiful board. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know if I said it properly before, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. So you'll see me working with that black cardboard a lot. Okay, and here we go again. Because each piece is I level it with the beautiful board and then I add the next piece of paper. I have to level that piece to the last piece to the next piece. So there you go. <laughs> that's the process of making things. I cutting off my sentence. I love this beautiful board laser cut chipboard set called Elegant Ivy. I am a sucker for all the swoops and swirls. It's so pretty. I just love them. So that's a piece from this collection here that I'm using. Adding some more cardboard to level things up. I wanted that uh, elegant ivy just to poke out a little bit at the bottom since that um, ivy vine at the top is going to be kind of poking out just a little bit as well. Just to kind of make it even from top to bottom. Okay. 
and I'm going to be adding in another uh, Rene Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. This is a chunky chain link frame. They come in a set of two, a large and a small in that set. And I'm just putting it in this Versamark ink um, so that I can use this embossing powder from my stash to kind of give it a nice aqua color to go in with the uh, aqua for the rest of this tag. And then I will heat set it and make it all nice and shiny. I love this embossing powder because it's kind of got aquas and gold flecks in it, a little bit of white, it's nice. It's not just a straight aqua um, color. And I love to melt embossing powder because it's all textured and chunky at first and then you melt it, it's all nice and smooth. It's pretty. So we're gonna add this down where I want to layer it, of course. And then this is just a resin frame from my stash. I think I got it at Michael's a long time ago. And then I'm gonna start bringing in some Prima Marketing flowers from Renee's shop. After this, these are resin flowers from my stash. I'll start bringing in some paper flowers here. The first uh, collection from Prima Marketing is a Spring Farmhouse collection. This one here called No Other Place. And the next two are from Midnight Garden Collection. This is Sunset. And this is called This Place. And so these are the beautiful colors I'm working with. It's not really aqua, I guess. It kind of is different shades of it. But, oh, I love this. Renee Bouquet, uh, chiffon flowers, pearl and rhinestones in the center, a set of three, and that's called Weathered Gray. So there's kind of where my grays come in. These are almost like a... Um, like a stormy blue flower but they kind of mesh in with the aqua tones so we're just going to start layering all my different flowers around here a little bit more ephemera this is a Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. It's called Circle Elements. They come in a set of two, and I just kind of cut a few pieces off. I'm just going to kind of layer them in there just so they're peeking out just a bit. These circuit, I think, are my favorite of all the different designs of the element pieces because they're nice and soft, and they just kind of give that fun little texture. I find I use them quite often. So we're going to get this um, chiffon flower on there from Renee Bouquet's. Start working on the flowers down on the lower half of this tag. I love all these colors together. They're just soft. Coming down here to match a little bit, a little more of the circuit elements. little rest for my voice some of these flowers like this one has a little bit of apricot in the center and that's going to help us later on I've got pieces already laid down here and so now I'm just pulling them back off and gluing them some ephemera pieces some chipboard pieces this is a wood tag it's actually a Christmas ornament um, I got from Walmart this year. They're little mini Christmas ornaments, but I bought them because I like the size of the wood tag so that I could use them to glue on top of. Cover them up and glue them up. I love that rectangle shape. So I covered it with the paper as you saw, and now I'm just gonna kind of set that in the center where I need to. Get this little, uh, chipboard piece from my stash in there. These are Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard Fancy Fall Tuck-Ins, a set of 23. These are Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard Skeleton Leaves. They're actually called Beautiful Bits because they're tiny. And these are Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Beautiful Words. And I'm just going to use, it's a four-piece set, Sparkle, Fairy, Dust, and Moment. And I'm going to use the word Moment. And I'm tucking in these Beautiful Board Beautiful Bit Skeleton Leaves and the Fall Tuck-Ins, some leaves from that set. I love these little kind of skeleton leaves and they're tiny that's why they're called beautiful bits 
perfect for tucking in. I'm gonna, I decided I'm gonna add some quilting thread. So I kind of have to pull back off my Renee Bouquet chiffon flower and tuck that thread right in there. I think it'll add great texture. And it's just the perfect kind of beige color. I can't quite get it to lay right. So I'm kind of going in and out, getting that tucked in. It'll come together in a moment. There we go. Now you can just see that little soft texture of that thread. Isn't that pretty? I love to do that. Okay, this is just a little word sticker from my stash and I'm just adding it to some cardboard so that it's stable because I, I want to uh, use it more up on top of the project. I'm not going to stick it to the tag itself, so I want some stability on it. And I'm just roughing up the edges with the scissors. This is just another little chipboard piece from my stash. Here comes the beautiful word from Renee Bouquet's beautiful board, beautiful words, the word moment. And I'm going to put that on that little rectangle tag and then add in a Renee Bouquet tiny treasure butterfly. Oh, love it. Look at the blues in there and that little touch of apricot. That's why I put in that little touch of flowers with the apricot center. These tiny treasure butterflies are called Harmony. Love these. You'll see them maybe in a few more um, projects yet to come. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I will have all the links down to everything Renee Bouquet's. It was a nice quick project. I'll have all the links down below to, of course, all the product that I use from Renee Bouquet's as well. Please come follow me on my other social media sites. I'd love to have you there along. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.